<laughs> There's one. Beautiful blue tail. spot. Here's a little bonus footage of my Christmas trip just to show you that there are some big ones to be had at Aransas Pass in Ingleside. Oh, 
the biggest I ever caught. Jerk bait. I'm using a jerk bait. Hold on, buddy. Check that out. All right, y'all, this is what we got them on this week. This is a Texas size jig head. It's a three aught. And what's great about this is that it has this movable head. So not only does it give it action at the front of the lure, it also clacks while it's going in the water. So what I did was I paired it up a uh, Salt Strong Flam Shady Bomber. What you do is you rig it up and this also sets weedless. But what you want to do is give this head a little room. So uh, you want to keep it a little bit away from uh, the, the front part of the paddle tail. So it'll get that clacking motion. So not only are you getting this action here going back and forth and making the clack, you're also getting this paddle at the end. So it's a great lure. It's what we got them on. Um, I'm going to shoot on over to the map and we'll give you some uh, points of where we put in and uh, also where we're catching the fish. All right, y'all, just a quick video of uh, where we put in and where we caught the fish. Here's the Ingleside right here. We came down 361 and we took 361 all the way down to this place called Sunray Road. Okay, basically you'll veer off here. And come down, come down all the way to the end. Once you get down here, you'll get to the launch. Here's the launch. You load in right here. Park your truck right here or right here. Just don't park right here. That's a gate. Um, probably can park here. Load in and go around this. These are pipes and you don't want to screw up your boat. Basically what we did is we crossed the ICW and again, Keep your head on a swivel. You saw in the video that big boat sent some really huge waves. I was really fortunate that they broke on a shallow water bar uh, before they got to me. But anyway, we traveled across here and we focused on from this island down to these islands. Okay, so this area right here. When we first got there, these cuts were actually uh, holding reds. Uh, unfortunately, I spooked them on the way over, but uh, just keep that in mind as you're cutting across. Throw a couple casts here first. Then we uh, focused on this island, some gr uh, nice grass line right here, and also some nice potholes that you'll see right here. Uh, Dave was catching some fish there for sure. Another area to focus on is this one right here. There was a charter boat in here with a, a guiding some fishermen and uh, they were doing really well. So this is a little deeper cut between these two islands. Bait fish were popping here like left and right. So I guess the water was coming through here. Um, they were doing really well. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get there because they spent a lot of time there. So the reason why we picked this spot too is the wind was coming from the east and we were hoping to get some protection on our kayaks because the wind was forecasted between five and seven miles an hour and it ended up being 15. So where I was most successful was right about here on these, this island stretch. And since there was a slack tide, I basically uh, focused on cuts within the island itself. So like this cut right here, hoping that any water that was being forced through was also bringing in the bait fish and the shrimp and hoping that the reds would be holding in this area and in this area. Uh, waiting for them to come through. So I did that there. And we also, uh, I also worked this cut right here and caught some fish as you saw in the video and this cut right here. Um, this is a great little spot. Thanks again for watching.